This episode is titled Herurisu slash Portrait of a Father. I have, again, another title. I have no idea what it means. Now, the next episode, the next title, I'm kind of nervous for. I'm not going to say that until next episode, but... Uh. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dog, Season 3, Episode 6. Last episode, we had uh, Katai, former ADA member, professes love to Gin, assassin whose octago was sister in the Port Mafia. Like, just saying that out loud sounds crazy. Like, last episode was wild. We also had Higuchi. It was just a fun fun episode, but I don't know how it's gonna... We also have Lucy gonna be working for the uh, cafe now she's gonna be a permanent member of the show which I'm excited for I really did enjoy Lucy at the beginning of, and the end of season two so I'm looking forward to that looking forward to the show looking forward to the end of the season I say we hop right on into it I'm excited don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are down below like always for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon it's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the dapper channel follow all social medias Instagram twitch TikTok, Twitter all at dapper Darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this bungo stray dogs season 3 episode 6 um, Heru Risu <laughs> slash Portrait of a Father. Let's do this. I may have needed more soy sauce. Soy sauce is delicious. Oh, she can control Demon Snow now just willy nilly because of Fukuzawa. Oh, okay. I don't think we've seen Demon Snow in action since the end of the season. No, we have, but like since the, all of this Fitzgerald and everything like that, no, we really haven't because ever since Fukuzawa was able to tell her that she can control it now willing without the cell phone needed as a as a variable, she just says I need more soy sauce and Demon Snow automatically grabs it. That's a valid point. And speak of the devil, here's Lucy. Yep, we forgot she's gonna be working here from now on. I would want to see her and uh, Atsushi get together. I think they're really cute. Because we never came and freed you from that room. <laughs> Kyoko's ready for the smoke. That's the only thing I can think of when she was like, I'm letting you go. Don't forget to come save me from this room. Yeah, see, that was a nice, real cute moment. I really like that. Specifically for Kyoka? What's going on at the pier? That's a lot of boats. They didn't say which one. Does it have the name or something on the side of it? Damn. Oh, Lucy left out the page where it says which boat it is. And now she's just watching them to fuck with them or something? Nope, we still don't, Lucy. Let us know why. It's because, uh... That's what I was thinking. Aww. I feel like she has feelings. You thievish cat. No, I actually go swimming for it though. That's important. Yeah, yeah. I would actually jump in the water for that. I don't think I would have gone underwater to get it. It's paper. It should float on top. I would have just treaded the surface. This man, Atsushi, not thinking. Now you gotta save in you gotta jump in and save your boy again. Hey, she's a real one for that. Takes them both to the Anne's chamber. Yeah, and you can't get a piece of paper. He did try his best. 
He was very preoccupied. Yeah, she likes him. Oh, kind of killed the vibe with the sneeze. Ooh, let's take him off. You gotta, you gotta dry off, right? You see some fucking ass cheeks just hanging out the water. <laughs> yeah, that's ballsy. Really? They were a part of the the organization? A false bottom. Employment gift. Three years ago. Ooh, I love that shot with the Tamari bouncing in the moonlight. What is this, Demon Slayer? Okay, so they're fucking gangster. This man's just dodging a se- These guys are fucking savages. Meanwhile, Kyoka's just outside. Ha ha! Oh, that's the power. Yeah, I was literally just about to say it's an ability that uses blood for mind control. That's why all the assassins have that one red eye. So if you get blood on you, it goes... That's, oh my, bro, we're learning so much more. I was not expecting any of this. It goes into your ear, you know, control mind control, and then that's how her pops died? And her mom, like, Pops was like, I can't, he doesn't want to shoot his daughter, obviously. So mom had to step in, take care of him real quick, which then got, bro, that's horrible. They were nasty. And told Demon Snow to protect the daughter. And now Demon, that's that how Demon Snow transferred over to Kyoka? Wow. Oh, that transition from the Tamari to the moon was crazy. That's why she always thought that growing up. Really? That's a thing? I keep saying, bro, they're savages. Yeah, I'm very curious who is doing all this reporting. Who is this singular person who attacked the government car? To... So he's a part of the Port Mafia. That's Bomb Boy. That's Lemon Bomb. It wasn't Koyo, was it? Was that is that Koyo in a suit? Oh. Okay. Well, that's nice. Was it? Cut. Okay. That. Okay. We're getting a lot more complicated now. Okay, so I know Koyo, who also has an ability similar to Demon Snow, had a horribly tragic backstory. We don't know it fully yet, but she does have a very deep caring and love for Kyoka. I do know that. So her spending six months budget to attack this special ops division truck to, in order to gain this brief, in order to give the brief to Kyoka as an employment gift for the ADA for me seems like purely an act of like love and compassion, you know, like 
because I'm with Lucy right now. Like as up until this point, even gaining control of it, Kyoka still resented Demon Snow for being the tool that killed her parents. But the fact that it was purely the embodiment of their love and Demon Snow, and it's like, that's big. That's that's really big. And the fact that Koyo was the one to tell, I really, shouts out Koyo. She's a real one. She's a savage for that. Damn, that's crazy. That's another part two. So that was Heberisu, and this is Portrait of a Father. Bro, Bungo is the only anime I've seen that has like part twos and shows like in episodes like this. Very interesting. I really enjoyed that first part though. Is that the one who's been torturing him this whole time in his past background? Like when he has these flash. What? Headmaster? Yeah, no, you don't look great. I mean, I know he caused you that haunt. Yeah, I know he was behind a lot of those nightmares. He was, but like. This is what this episode is just going crazy. Giant. Oh, that that's getting a little juicy. Dealing with someone who abused you for your entire childhood, especially dealing with their death after you've like it's it's very hard, very complicated. You know, I understand my man on sushi. What's up, Desai? Hmm. Was it really gonna be congratulatory? And is the article running or flying out of his hand the reason he Is that really what happened? Absolute barbarism. A hundred percent true, truly in hell. That's a different perspective of looking at it, you know. What doesn't kill you does make you stronger. I am a believer of that. Yeah. The thought of yourself and your past made you work extra hard to prevent that future or having to deal with that to other people. So, it's a valid point, you know? Yep. That empathy was huge to have that, you know, to have gone through something that a lot of people have not. It was big for Atsushi. That is a general thing, which he's the closest thing Atsushi has to a father. It was a horrible father. It was a horrible childhood, but Desai is not wrong at all. Like, he's like, what is this? It literally is like your abusive father died, you know? Damn. Damn, that's... Oh, that's actually crazy. Talk about a crazy episode. Like, what? Not No action, no... But just so many reveals, so many plot twists. This shit gets so juicy. I love I love that kind of shit. Um, I love a show where they can do so much world building and set up that you can reveal stuff so much later down the line. And you just, it means so much more because you've had this time to get to know these people. You've had time to build up your own version of what may have happened, your own mysteries and thoughts, you know? But it's like insane i absolutely love the um kyoka reveal with her parents how they were a part of the special ops they were on those people gang gang and they were you know made they were tried to assassinate you guys know what i'm trying to say multiple times yet they were just nasty and one of the smoke but a gifted who had it out for them was able to get the better of them caused their deaths and then you know set kyoka on the life that on the path that she would be gone you know and now that we have that information revealed that they were savages and that mom was actually such a real one for killing dad when she needed to and killing herself and passing the power down which i didn't even know 
passing down powers could be like a familial thing. Like that's super dope. Imagine not sushi having some kids making his son the next wear tiger. I would pass that shit down for generations, bro. That'd be fire. Teach him how to control it, everything. Also, though, that blood power to mind control is very, very strong, very cool. Especially in a very violent world like the Port Mafia, the ADA. That could come real in handy, especially for assassinations and shit. And then the whole reveal that the headmaster of the orphanage died, presumably to come congratulate Atsushi on how much of a man he's become over the years. Like, I completely understand why Atsushi would be grief stricken and going through it. Like, he physically does hate this man, which, like, it was weird when he's when the headmaster said that. Like, he was like, do you hate me? Do you resent me? When you leave this place and eventually go out into the outside world, hate me. Don't hate yourself. Like, which I believe is a good thing overall. Like, if you're going to have this resentment and anger, have it towards me. Don't hate yourself because you don't deserve to hate yourself. Like, you don't deserve hate. I do. I'm doing these horrible things to you. But then my question, because that makes sense to me. Like, I'm doing all this stuff to you. When you leave, hate me. Don't hate yourself. Makes sense to me. But why is he doing the stuff to him in the first place? Like, I, I, there's definitely still questions to be answered, like how Desai was saying, even it would be very costly and difficult to maintain that secret in general, especially from you, who the secret's about. So, like, why was he doing it? You know, why, like, he had no, there's no benefit to him in keeping you, you know, keeping everyone not, it's, 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 it's I need more answers. I need more answers. I got more questions, but it was crazy episodes. Fucking crazy. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes or you want to watch them in the full length, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always, for you guys. Other than that, I appreciate you guys immensely. Follow all the social medias Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Don't forget to drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them, especially your parents. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.